Yo, what's up, buggers? So, we got something in the mail. Well, not in the mail. I don't think this will fit in the mailbox. Big shout out to Legend Kayaks, to Brian Jacob of Legend Kayaks for hooking me up with a really awesome ski. So this is the new model Trident. The sun weighs in at, I think, about 30 kilos. I think it's 30 kilos or less, roughly. It looks absolutely stunning. The gray with a bit of black pixelated colors, or what do you call it, like stippled colors. It is really cool. The smell of it. <laughs> yeah, it's really awesome. So it's basically got foam on the inside, which is pretty cool. It's a little bit thinner of the harder plastic, but then it's made up with the foam on the inside. So that's why it's a lot lighter. It's still flipping tough. I've taken the Garmin out of my uh, fiberglass kayak, the style one. I've got this hatchlet here that I'm gonna install the Garmin Striker 5 CV Plus on. Really awesome unit. Yeah, look at that smog. <laughs> so if you've got a Trident and you want to install your fish finder, the first thing you're going to do is you take off that hatch lid, right? Uff, take it off. You can put it to one side. Installing the transducer is really, really easy on the Trident. Now that's how we're going to work with and we'll show you now. Here we go. This is where your transducer is going to go. This is a transducer cut, cut out. All what you do to get that out, take the screwdriver, flat one, pop in there, put them in, and just pop it up. Bam! That's it. There's another one inside here. Flip the kayak over. There's a little bit of marine silicon on top. <laughs> take that off, then take your screwdriver and just knock it down. That's it. Okay, I use my finger and just boop. There it goes. It's done. Keep this piece. She has messed it up and screwed over. Keep that piece. Okay, so like you can see, the Garmin GT20 transducers, it fits, but it doesn't go the whole way in. So your best bet, what you can do, sanding it. We did that with Mornay's one. It just makes the plastic a little bit thinner. Is uh, what Edwin said. He tried it out and it worked pretty damn well. So you take a heat gun and a metal pole, you heat it up and then you put the warm metal pole there and you just mold the plastic so it's a little bit bigger. Because you literally need like half a mil, literally. Okay, so we're just heating out the plastic to mold it a bit with a hammer, not hitting it, just move it. burning plastic. <laughs> when it starts sweating, then you know that it's bending. You just have that little curve there, you can't even like, you can barely see it. Because the transducer is bigger than what the actual piece is. And obviously you can get away with it, just trying to force it in. But think of it, right? This here is the kayak. Okay, this here. You put your transducer in there and it's touching both sides, right? Now as you're going over soil, so that kayak's gonna bend. And it doesn't take the chance of having the GT20 transducer snap. Cool, so all you're doing, you just put it on there and you're just basically cutting the shape of the transducer into the foam. And I've cut bigger than the actual transducer across. You cut this little slit here. Then, put the cable, slip that through, put that there. Okay, next step, just feed the transducer cable through keep on pulling it how long is this bloody cable there we go snug like a bug look pretty damn flush dude a little bit of silicon here on the side not much i don't know if you can see there not too much but just enough that it's not going to just come out i'm going to take these and we're going to try and make it flush okay so i'm the kind of guy i measure once i cut once i look at it i go oops I measure again, I cut again, I measure five more times and then I get it right. Don't ask questions, but we cut the hole. <laughs> Eventually. Oh, is it stuck? It's not bad. So I'll just sand that and then it should work. 
I swear I'm the best neighbor ever in the world. It's now 20 to 10. Ah! Moment of truth, part two. Just needing it up a bit. Took a while. Neighbors never complained. Luckily, it started raining hard. Bye, guys. Thanks again for the support. It's really awesome. If you find this video useful, please share and like the video. Let's see. Very simple. Velcro open, Velcro down. Once your cable's through, right, there's still the hole. What I do is I put a little bit, I just push a little bit of the cable in there. Just like that. Not too much there, so you can feel it's, it's pushing back out. I put it like that because now you put the foam in there, but say if something pulls it, it's got that, that give, you know. Uh, so then it doesn't put a lot of pressure on the transducer. Drill a hole through there, and you push the cable through that piece there. It's through over here. Then you're gonna run it all the way here. The wire can go through. This is the hole, we're gonna plug it up now. So these little clips here that are for your fish bag. Basically, you run your cable through that and you just keep tracking it through. You put it all together, get yourself a cable tie. Just cable tie loose. So now, you're gonna wrap a cable tie around that. Okay, so you got your cable going through there going through there, up to your unit. There's more than enough space if this here moves. There's the cable tie on the cables. Yes, there we go. I know the video has probably been really, really mixed up and all that stuff, but you know what? It's just how it goes. We just wing it, especially like when we're on the water. We don't, we have a plan. We can see the plan, but sometimes we just don't stick it through. Something else happens. So yeah, everything now is sorted. So just making things neater, we're gonna put like a little bit of Velcro here, cable tied into the little cabling here. Basically have it underneath there, out of the way. Then to this cable, since these do pull out quite easily, I'm gonna make a little something, something over here. <laughs> hey, are you comfy? Okay, so the kayak is completed. I was gonna put in the rudder, which is very easy to do. But I'm gonna show you quite a bit neater. I've put a nut and bolt through here with Velcro. So if something does pull, I'm not gonna pull the cables out of here. Because it's the cabling here, put it up there. Got a little bit of Velcro with some uh, contact adhesive on the other piece there. Battery box inside here, extra cables at the back, which you probably can't see. The cool thing is how I designed this now. So when I go, watch, 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 watch. watch. It doesn't hang deep. That is sick. I'm happy with that. That is cool. Anyways, thanks buggers for coming with me on this little adventure. I need a name for my new trident. Any names are welcome. Drop it down in the comments below and uh, I'll choose one that's really rad. Anyways buggers, stay safe. <laughs>